Every summer from time immemorial, shepherds have brought their flocks to the high pastures of the Pindos Mountains in the northwest corner of Greece. These particular sheep belong to the Anthulis brothers, Stereos, Jogos, and Vasilis. Jogos has the largest flocks and now employs two or three Albanian immigrants as hired hands. Sterius prefers to manage on his own. Milk, feta cheese, and the meat from the lambs were the shepherd's principal source of income. The men spend the summer out on the mountainside. Their families set up home in the village of Samarina. At over 1,600 meters, it's the highest village in Greece. At this time of year, it's full to overflowing as thousands of people from the towns and even abroad come home for the August 15th Festival of the Virgin Mary to renew old acquaintance and dip their roots in their origins. For these people of Vlax, they are citizens of the Greek state today, but their forefathers were semi-nomadic shepherds. Although they are all bilingual now, their distinguishing feature is their language, which derives from Latin, not Greek. For the Vlax, the Dormition of the Virgin Mary has always been a feast as important as Easter. Every family who has the means celebrates by roasting a lamb. Those who do not have to make do with smaller cuts from the butcher's shop. Vasilis, the youngest of the Anthulis brothers, runs this butcher's shop and a tavern, in addition to his shepherding activities. Traditional forms of dance and music remain an important part of life in San Marino, as they do throughout rural Greece. Family parties invariably end in a dance and a singing of the old songs. Even these costumes were everyday wear, well within living memory. The women spun and wove the cloth from the wool of the family sheep. It gives people pleasure to see the traditions kept alive, even if the only articles of clothing you occasionally see today are the men's caps and the pom-pommed cloths. The white kilts and leggings were standard shepherd dress until the Second World War. By October, San Marino has returned to the quieter rhythms of shepherd life. Many people have gone down to the lowlands for the winter, and soon the shepherds themselves will begin to leave. Many now truck their flocks, but some still go down on foot, doing the traditional diava, as this journey is called. I've come from England, as I often do, to help my friend Jogas and his brother drive their sheep down to the lowlands in the traditional way. In the old days, the entire household accompanied the sheep, and the journey took 20 days and more. Now it's just the sheep, we usually take no more than 10 or 12. Before we leave, there are a few things which need to be sorted out. The small herd of cows, which are my responsibility, are as usual a problem. They've been running wild in the forest all summer, and at the end of the season, there are always one or two missing. team. <laughs> γιατί ο ήλιος είναι μπροστά μας και το ζώο είναι μαύρο και μέσα σε καμία ώρα και μέσα στις σκιές δεν φαίνεται μέσα στις σκιές ναι θα γυρίσει ο ήλιος οχο οχο the trouble is we can't start on the other until we found these cows we wanted to start on Monday at the latest but leaving a cow behind is leaving quite a lot of money behind, 
so she's got to be found, if at all possible. Departure in the old days was, I suspect, a more serious business. You couldn't pop back in the car if you'd forgotten something. And if our food supplies are less well organised than they used to be, not so the dogs. This bread that Vasilis is packing is for them. Without it, they won't do their job of guarding us from the wolves that still infest the country we have to cross. And the family home has to be securely locked. The village is deserted through the winter, and these are insecure times with gangs of illegal Albanians sneaking into Greece through these out-of-the-way places. And sadly, for the first time in 91 years, Jogas and Vasilis's father, Barba Yanis, has to be left behind. Content, no doubt, to lie in the soil of his native Samarina and not the dreaded plains. For his generation of Vlachs, life was very different. Samarina was Turkish when they were born. They lived through the Balkan Wars against the Turks, German occupation during the Second World War, and the Greek Civil War. There were no roads or vehicles for most of their lives. There was little contact with the Greek-speaking lowlands. The way of life they inherited had changed little in a thousand years. Our first job is to take the cows and join forces with our sheep, which are already half a day's march beyond the village. I'm dispatched to do this with our newly recruited Albanian cowhand, whom we have christened Leonidas. Leonidas is an unknown quantity to us. Jogas picked him out of a crowd of other Albanians only two days ago, and he speaks neither Greek nor Vlach. But he's happy because his previous attempts to find work in Greece have all ended in expulsion. It was on this ridge in 1940 that the Greeks stopped Mussolini's invading armies. Our sheep lie in the valley just below, in the care of a hired shepherd called Todorakis. He too is Albanian, but with a difference. Thotherakis, like my friends, is a Vlach and was born in Greece. By evening, we're hungry and waiting impatiently for Jogas to arrive with our supplies. Αυτός όνειρος είναι πέντε ευρώ η φωτογραφία και λοιπά προβλήματα 
Τέσσερι φορέ τέσσερι τον έπιασε η αστυνομία. Τον πήγαινε αυτό πάλι δεν μπορούσε, έπρεπε να έρθει να δουλέψει. Daybreak is at six. Jogas dislodges the goats, who always choose a high rocky perch for the night if they can. There's no time for breakfast. As soon as it's light and the cold has eased from their limbs, the sheep start to move off in search of grass. Now that we have a vehicle to carry our gear instead of the mules, breaking camp's a simple matter. <laughs> The dogs have to be fed their morning ration of bread, including the old leader, Morgus, with his wolf-proof iron collar. And then we're off, trying to keep within sight or sound of each other without getting the flocks mixed up. We have three flocks of sheep, about 1,800 animals in all, some 30 goats who traditionally lead the flocks, my 30 cows, a dozen dogs and the three pack animals. The route we follow is known as the Vlachostrata, the Vlach Way. Though it does now coincide in places with farm tracks and even tarmac roads, it's mainly across country, through woods and over hills and mountains. Vlachuyani, the village where my friends spend the winter, is about 120 miles away as the sheep grazes. Μας αρέσει πάρα πολύ, διότι είναι πάπον προς πάπον αυτήν η διάβα, παρόλο που μας δυσκολεύει πάρα πολύ. Mm. Γιατί στα παλιά τα χρόνια η διάβα ήταν το κάτι το ιερό. Μην κοιτάτε τώρα γιατί τα έχουμε παρατημένα. Είμαστε σαν τους γύφτους τώρα. Δεν είναι όπως ήμασταν παλιά. Οι νοικοκυρές από τα σπίτια ετοιμάζανε, ετοιμάζαν τα, τα πράγματα που θα παίρνουμε για τους δρόμους. Τι ετοιμάζανε, ιδιαίτερα τα ζώα. Τα ζώα πρέπει να είναι όλα... όλα Δεν να είναι σε μάραδες τώρα. Ε, να είναι όλα τα, τα κομμαρισμένα, πώς τα λέμε. Να είναι όμορφα, όπως βάζεις το κοστούμι. Δηλαδή, φορούσαμε τα καινούρια με τάφια, τα, τις κοβέρτες πίσω, τα καινούρια τσοβάλια. Σκάπηση. Ε, φορτώνονταν ωραία. Ε, τα λιγοτρούβατα αυτά που τρώγανε το κρυθάρι. Και έβλεπε το καραβάνι σωστό. Δηλαδή, ε, έπρεπε αυτή η ετοιμασία να γινόταν πολύ σωστή. A passing truck driver wants to know if we can sell him a lamb. 
As it happens, we have a rather poorly animal we don't think is capable of finishing the journey. Thodorakis, like many others, found himself Albanian against his will, trapped for 40 years behind the Iron Curtain. Πιο πίσω γίνηκαν τα πόλεμα, ήρθε η, η Γερμανία ύστερα, έφυγε η Γερμανία με τα πολέματα. Στο 1944 απελευθερώθηκε η Αλβανία από τους Γερμανούς και έβαλε ο Χόγκιας σύνορα. Ε. Δεν πρινούσε, Κανείς. δεν μπορούσε. Nasce όλα ντάμα, όποιος δούλευε, δούλευε, όποιος είστε, τρώγω, έτρωγε και το κοντεμπέλης. Τι να ήταν. Later in the night there was a wolf scare. Τι να ήταν, λέτε. Δεν μπορούσα να καταλάβω γιατί ήσαν και τα άλλα τα σχυλιά μετά και έτρωγα συνέχεια. Γκρινιάστηκα μετά τα, τα σχυλιά εκεί μέσα και δεν μπορούσα να καταλάβω. Ζήστο, ζήστο. Να ήταν, λες. Ζήστο. Άμα είναι πολύ λύκη. Για να προλάβω, να προλάβω. Να μην πέφτει στο φτυπωτή. Είμαι πολύ σε αυτά εκπαιδευμένος. But we did in fact lose a sheep from Vasilis's flock in the small hours of the morning. Everybody's had a rather difficult night. There were a lot of well, wolves, probably, in the woods all around. Nobody got any sleep, they're on their feet. You know, stopping the sheep rushing off and getting lost. Encouraging the dogs to protect us. Um, a lot of rather sleepy and ratty people this morning as a result. But if you're not vigilant, you could arrive home monometiklitsa, with just your crook, as the shepherds say. We're beginning to drop down out of the mountains proper into this hilly country covered with dense scrubby oak woods. The sheep pass through easily enough, but keeping the cows out of the thickets can be hard work. It's also prime country for the gangs of illegal Albanians heading for the cities in search of work. And sure enough, they turned up on cue, much to the fury of joggers. Από πέρα, ε! Φέγουν απάνω! Μην 
Από το 1999 που άρχισα να έρχονται, τους υποδεχόμασταν με ευλάβεια. Λέγαμε ταλέπωρος κόσμος, φτωχοί. Δηλαδή όλοι εδώ οι ακρίτες Έλληνες που ήταν κοντά στα σύνορα, ανοίξαν τα σπίτια τους να τους δώσουν ό,τι είχαν. Σιγά σιγά, αφού παραέγινε το πράγμα, ενώ τους δίνανε, ενώ αυτοί ήταν και κακοποίοι. Έχει παραγίνει το πράγμα. Δηλαδή είπαμε αυτήν τη χρονιά, μια-δυο χρονιές είναι τα λέμπορ, λέγουμε ότι θα τακτοποιηθούν. Ενώ από μια πλευρά, εμείς οι κτηνοτρόφοι, έχει λυθεί το πρόβλημα από βοσκούς. Τώρα δεν ξέραν τόσο πολύ, αλλά υπάρχουν ορισμένοι που ξέραν. Τώρα όπως είναι ο Θοδωράκης και άλλοι. Στην αρχή ήταν λίγο... Λίγο δύσκολοι, δεν ξέρανε καλά όπω ήμασταν εμεί εδώ πέρα με την κτηνοτροφία, με αυτά όπω έχουμε τα κοπάδια εκεί, ξέραν από κρατικά. We always take advantage of this narrow passage here to count the flocks. You'd think it would be easy in this kind of terrain to lose any number of sheep, but it very rarely happens. The older animals who've done the journey before know how to behave. They stick together in a body and follow their shepherd. It's the youngsters who are a problem. They rush around like children and get left behind unless you keep a sharp eye out for them. Animals have an extraordinary memory for things they've done before. For example, the first year we took the cows down on foot, I had a terrible time with them. The second year, they wanted to go exactly the same way, camp where we'd camped last year. It was the devil's own job to make them do anything different. We always stop here at Taburi. In the old days, it would have been my job with the mules to go ahead and get the camp ready for the others, light the fire, start the cooking, put up the tents, tandiria they call them, strips of brown and white wool stretched over a ridge pole. <laughs> This route we follow, like the traditional camping places, is protected by law. We have the right to do this, to cut firewood, graze the sheep. But it's becoming increasingly difficult. There are farms now where there was only forest when my friends were children. And footpaths become farm tracks. And before you know where you are, there's a main road. and problems like this. The sheep have smelt a field of alfalfa, unfenced of course, and we could easily be prosecuted if we were caught letting them feed there. Μας αρέσει. Ιδιαίτερα εμένα μου αρέσει πάρα πολύ να έχω αυτή, δηλαδή να έχουμε αυτή τη διάβα, να είμαστε, ξέρω εγώ, άντιτοι, λίγο οξύριστοι έτσι, να ανάβουμε φωτιά το βράδυ, να έρχεται ο Λύκος να τον κυνηγάμε, να φάει και καμιά προβατίνα γιατί και ο Λύκος δεν θα πάει στο χασάπι, στον κτηνοτρόφο θα πάει, να ζήσει κι αυτός. Μα αρέσει διότι ε, είμαστε δεμένοι με την κτηνοτροφία, με τους δρόμους αυτούς έχουμε γεννηθεί εδώ πέρα, από μικρές μέρες, δηλαδή μόλις γεννηθήκαμε από την Κούνια. Hey. 
Εγώ θυμάμαι, δηλαδή, το, τα ξαδερφάκια να γινιώνται στον δρόμο. Από ηλικία και γενετούργια ακόμη στον δρόμο, γινόντουσαν οι γυναίκες. Βεβαίω. Μία ξαδέρφη μου ναι. γεννήθηκε εδώ στον δρόμο. Ναι. Όταν έλεγε η θεία μου τώρα που ζει ακόμη, όταν γέννησε η θεία μου, περπατούσε, κάθισε στον δρόμο, γέννησε, γέννησε το μωράκι, το τελήξανε, το βάλανε πάνω στα ζώα και η θεία μου άρχισε να περπατάει. Τώρα τα παιδιά μας τελείωσε. Πάνε ναι. στα σχολεία, τα είχα στα σχολεία, από εκεί μετά μαθαίνουν την, την καλή τη ζωή. Στις πόλεις βγαίνουν έξω, μετά αρχίζουν να, να φοβώνται. Δεν ξέρουν τι θα πει, φυσχάνονται. Δεν καταλαβαίνουν τίποτε, δεν ξέρουν να, 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 α, α, τίποτε άλλο από μηχανήματα και από πλαστικά παιχνίδια. Είναι αδύνατο, θα πεις με τα αυτοκίνητα. Πάλι δεν μπορούν τα παιδιά γιατί δεν μπορούν να τα, να τα ξημερώσουν, δεν μπορούν να κοιμηθούν κάτω στο χέρι. Είδε πω κοιμώνται και έτσι μπορεί να είναι και εμεί στο χέρι το βράδυ. Και έτσι είναι σίγουρο δε ότι θα φύγει. Η, η διάβα θα τελειώσει πολύ λίγα χρόνια. We've already jumped two Konaiko camping places and we're heading on for a third, which makes a very long day. It shouldn't take more than half an hour, to, another half hour to, to three quarters, I don't think. There's a clearing in the woods further along here, which is where we're making for with some water. Both man and beast are pretty knackered. Joggers is cutting green wood to help keep the fire in throughout the night and we'll use the branches for bedding to keep our bodies off the damp ground. Supper is going to be the sheep the wolf killed, kebabbed and grilled. With his usual energy and skill, Jogos improvises a spit. At night, we all sleep round the fire, wrapped in blankets or heavy wool capes. No one gets undressed, so when daylight comes, we're ready to move at a moment's notice. This is one of the reasons we're moving so fast. Some of the sheep have begun to drop their lambs already. We're entering the village of Ayus Theodorus on the main road, and it's a matter of pride that the flocks should look their best, with the Gesemia, the big billy goats, in front. There's nothing the shepherds take more pride in than seeing the flocks in all their abundance lining out ahead down the road. One of the dogs has had a litter of puppies in the night. Hey. 
This is the main road to Grevena, the most dangerous bit of the Viava. For an hour or so, we have to contend with buses, trucks and cars, who show scant regard for dogs or sheep. Even in my time, I've seen more and more of this ancient woodland eroded by illegal clearance for farming. By one of history's ironies, the people doing it are descendants of the Greeks who colonized the Black Sea coast in classical times, centuries before the Turks who expelled them in 1922 had ever appeared in the area. Granted land in northern Greece, they partly displaced the Vlachs, whom they regard with the suspicion usually accorded travelling people. The Vlachs in turn regard them with the disdain they reserve for all settled farmers. We've had grazing rights here since before you people were ever thought of, I've heard them say. This dry riverbed is the lowest point of our journey. For the next few days, we'll be climbing steadily back to nearly 2,000 meters. Prima da capire, io sono anche poli nero, poli para poli nero. Ti mando mia fora Africa me, cati patrioti sono dotti per di cucia. Io ho pii han pai di calocchiera paro per spresspes. Che i han due mesi che clismeni, i han due mesi clismeni. Posso la perasso dopo tanto. Molti stanno in misa popano. Και εμείς λίγο πιο ψημένοι από τους δρόμους, yeah. αυτοί ήταν καινούργοι που πηγαίναμε στα πάνω. Yeah. Φωνάζουμε στα κησέμια μπροστά, πάρα πολύ νερό και πιάσαμε εμείς από κάτω πέντε, έξι άτομα, έτσι χέρι με χέρι. Οπότε έπαιρνε μια προβατήνα προς τα κάτω, yeah. να την πιάναμε. Yeah. Το νερό μας έπαιρνε μέχρι εδώ, yeah. μουσιμα όλοι. Τα πρώτα, επειδή ήταν από βουνό και δυνατά και είναι αυτά τα πρώτα, yeah. τα, τα ντόπια, το κόψαν το νερό, yeah. πέσαν όλα μαζί και περάσανε. Η τοποσία αυτή τι, στο χάνι του Παζαΐτη εδώ στη Φιλωριά ήταν να χάνει κάποιο Σαμαρινέο. Γιατί εδώ είναι το κέντρο της Διάβας και όλη η Διάβα της Θεσσαλίας προς την Πίνδο, προς τα, στο, στο ορεινό όγκο της Πίνδο, θα περνούσε από εδώ μέσα. Και εδώ γεννόταν πάντα τα καλύτερα μοαπέτια. Υπήρχαν και τα χάνια με κρασά, με τραγούδια. Τα μόναν οι φίλοι. Εδώ όταν έπεφταν, έπεφτε η Διάβα, θυμάμαι, το, την πρόλαβα και εγώ την, την πολύ Διάβα, Αβέλ, Λαπεριβόλης, Μίξιν, Σαμαρίνα, όλα Φιλιππέδου, Σικόλα, πολλά χωριά, μπορώ να σου πω, γύρω στα 15-20 χωριά και παραπάνω. Έχανε μάνα το παιδί και το παιδί τη μάνα από Κυπροκούδουνα, από βελάσματα, από σχυλιά, από φωνέ των παιδιών, οικογένειε, ευαισθημένε, στρούγγε παντού. Τόσο πολύ ήταν, λε και ήταν ε, πολιτεία. <Τι> τότε είχαν και επαφή ο κόσμο. Από τότε ξέρω πάρα πολλού φίλου, α πούμε, που ξέρω από όλα τα χωριά γνωρίζουμε. Από αυτά τα χρόνια. <Τι> Τώρα με τα αυτοκίνητα, <Τι> με το περνάμε το DD <Τι> και γεια σου και. Φεύγουμε να τρέξουμε να προλάβουμε ένας τον άλλον ας πούμε της, της ανάγκης της, της σύγχρονης ζωής σήμερα και τίποτε άλλο. Γίναμε σαν τα ρομπότη. Καταλάβες έτσι.
It was cold in the night. By dawn, our clothes and bedding were stiff with ice. The bitch has been allowed to suckle her puppy during the night, which keeps her at her post. But during the day, they're taken away from her to make sure she follows with the other dogs. Όταν περνούσαμε μέσα στα χωριά, βγαίναν τα γυναικόπαιδα, τα σχολεία, αν είχαν μάθημα ακόμη, θα φεύγαν μέσα από το σχολείο, από τους δασκάλους, για να βγουν έξω να ακούσουν τα κοδούνια, να δουν πώς περνάει η διάβα. Δηλαδή και αυτός ήταν κάτι που το διασκεδάζανε. Δηλαδή μια σαν παρέλαση, κάτι ότι περνάει η διάβα. Τους ευχαριστούσε. Είναι αντίθετα τώρα. Τώρα βλέπεις ο άλλος υπάρχει μια ζήλια, μια ηχθρότητα. Ενώ τώρα όλοι έχουν ηχτήσει το χρήμα και στο συμφέρον. Δηλαδή να φτιάσουμε το ένα, να αγοράσουμε το άλλο, να κάνουμε έτσι. Δηλαδή ε, μας κυρεύει πιο πολύ το άγχος. Ενώ τότε ο κόσμος ήταν πιο γνήσιος. Ε, και σιγά σιγά όχι μόνο ε, αυτοί που περνάμε τώρα προς τα κάτω, τα χωριά. Ε, και η ίδια η πολιτεία νομίζω σιγά σιγά. Θα μας κάνει μήνυση, θα μας πούνε μην πάτε με τα πόδια, δεν ξέρουν γιατί, φορτώστε τα. Μπορεί σε κάποιο σημείο να μείνουμε εδώ απόψε και μας πούνε γιατί μείνατε εκεί. Απογορεύεται. Δεν δε, δε, δε θα ξέρουν αν υπήρχε αυτή η διάβα, αυτή η βλαχόστρατα που λέγεται για να πάνε στα χυμαδιά. I think one of the things I find most interesting about all of this is, is living with the animals all the time, which you don't normally get an opportunity to do, living in a city and just observing their habits and characteristics. And, and as uh, Jogos and Co have often said, it's very obvious that they have their little society with its rules and means of communication. Um, you suddenly hear the sheep you know, break into a gallop behind you and bleating wildly. You think, what on earth is going on? and they go charging off across a field to an oak tree. And I remember the first time I saw this, I said to Douglas, what on earth's going on? He said, oh, it's the acorns. And for them, it's a, an oak tree. It's like a sign saying, Estiatorio, restaurant. And they see it from afar and go rushing off to it. I'm also full of admiration for the, for the skills of these guys too. They learnt these skills, they're unlearnable in any school and they learnt them from their fathers. Uh, they grew up doing these things and probably they're pretty well untransferable in any other way. And we'll die with these people. <laughs> This poor and desolate stretch of country is known as Khasya. From 1870 until the First World War, it formed the frontier between Free Greece and the Turkish Empire. Nationalist bands on both sides made it dangerous territory for the migrating Vlach flocks. They were robbed, ambushed and held to ransom, with the result that many families moved south into Greece and never returned. Barba Yanis, Jogos and Vasilis's father, remembered those days for when he was born, San Marino had been part of Turkey. And so, of course, was our cowhand Leonidas's Albania.
We are coming down into the village of Yerakari, at the foot of the 1800-metre Mount Oxia, the last barrier to be crossed before we reach home. A little convoy of mules, an increasingly rare sight in contemporary Greece. Ever good-natured and willing to play the clown, Leonidas does an Albanian dance for us in the middle of the road. But any other form of communication proves practically impossible. Lonitha says down, I say up. As we have no language in common, we go our separate ways. It's steep and difficult country for the cows and easy to get lost in, unless, like Jogas and Vasilis, you've known it since childhood. From here, the way lies through the beech woods and over the far ridge by a place called Palia Samarina, where tradition has it, people from Samarina spent the winter long ago. <laughs> These huts at Katsaunya are used by shepherds who come up for the summer from the neighboring village of Verdikusa. I've never been this way before, and Mirtos, Vasilis's Albanian shepherd, is giving me directions in a mixture of sign language and pidgin Greek. We can smell home now, both men and animals. In a few minutes, we'll get our first glimpse of Lachuyani. There it is, way down in the valley of the river Xerias, 
off the northwestern tip of the plain of Thessaly. It's a long and steep descent, and we won't get there now until tomorrow. Our last morning, a little tinged with sadness, for it may be the last time I see Thodorakis, who is planning to return to Albania. It's only a matter of a mile or two now. The cows stay here and we go on down to our winter quarters with just the sheep and goats. Good <laughs> So what is it, Tim? Trakanas. Mm. Stupor is unloaded, but there's really no respite in the cycle of the shepherds' lives. Lambing will begin in a few days' time, and then it will be back to milking, two, even three times a day, until it's time once more to go up to Samarina next May. For the hired hands, the Albanians especially, life is certainly tough. For the owners of flocks, however, the last few years have brought considerable prosperity, thanks to European Union subsidies and the availability of cheap Albanian labour. The old ways may be changing and the Diava itself may not exist much longer, but this newfound prosperity guarantees some future for a form of traditional farming that only a few years ago appeared in danger of imminent extinction.